Now, this is what I'm talking about, the League of Throws, right? This is what I'm talking about. You see, plays like this, um, you'll see, you'll see right now, right? This is how people lose games late game, right? And it's very frustrating because sometimes you're on the other side, right? So imagine I'm Jax, right? I'm Jax right now. And I'm playing on... So I'm Jax. Let, let's just assume... Like in this game I'm Nasus, but let's say I'm Jax, right? So this guy just goes and eats, right? He just... So they know that I'm out, right? This is like getting caught up and throwing the game. So he just goes, he literally just walks into us, right? Like what would have happened right now? What would have happened? He could have, Lee Sin could have kicked him into the team. He would have been instantly bubbled by Nami and he would be burst. That's what, that's what would have happened, right? But at this point, this is late game. This guy, there is a lot of damage. A lot of damage. And he's support, right? With two items. And that's it. They lost the game. Because now Baron is up. And he will not be there for the Baron. So what I'm saying is like, what do you do? Do you know what I mean? Let's let's say even if you put Nasus on this team versus Jax, I mean that's very difficult to play now. as well because at this point in time we are simply going to steamroll get the maxus and then go take the baron right and uh, they're gonna lose this and the, the, the lanes are pushing in here right so they have to make a play so obviously for this, right? so now he has no hold Like, this Kha'Zix play is also very, very questionable. I mean, what is he trying to do? Right. He's trying to one-shot our team with have what they call the, the, the spirit of that thing, right? He can no, no longer... This is late game. Everybody's quite tanky. They no longer one-shot. So what, what is he doing? What is he trying to do? Again, I'm saying, let's say I'm on the blue side. And my team does this. I don't know how to carry against this. Just like you see, just ults. Let's see if here's vision, right? Like he sees four people right now. He literally sees four people. This guy's gonna one-shot him, because he does crazy damage now, right? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna get one-shot. Okay, so what happens next? That's very interesting. So next up is Katarina. Katarina has to try to... ...somehow... ...somehow save it. Have 
Well, Jax honestly died one on one against Lee Sin. I mean, Lee Sin is, uh, I think he has more gold, right? Yeah, yeah, he has more gold. And Jax, I mean, uh, right now, I think he's. What, what's what's his level, Jax? How did Jax die? <laughs> can scale into late game. Because man, this is Jax on three items. He's supposed to be very strong now. Oh yeah, yeah, he would have won that if we did not have his uh his uh, kick. But man, I'm very happy to see this, that Lee Sin is actually useful late game. Because this is a good outcome. If he can like, if he can go toe to toe with Jax, well let's see how many items. One, two, three, three items, four dragons. Let's, let's look at the money difference. 2000 gold difference. And the, man, this is very, I'm very, very happy to see this. This means that Jax, this season is not super broken, do you know what I mean? Because normally we seen late game against Jax is suicide, do you know what I mean? Complete suicide. And you see, like, this guy can 1v1. One one. That's... I'm very happy to see this. Honestly. Yeah, let's show you how to play this guy. Well, Kata is gone because I'm gonna wither her now, right? I have the range for it, I think, right? I hope it's just so I will get the range, honestly. No, that was stupid. I should have not ulti. I don't know, why did I ulti? To decrease my cooldown? Maybe. Well, I I think I ulted for the range, honestly, because in my mind, I thought to myself that my range is going to increase, so if she jumps somewhere, my auto attack should still reach her, right? And because because I'm bigger size, um, it's unlikely that she's going to escape, right? Maybe that was stupid, honestly. Because either way, she will receive damage from you, right? Either way. I think I should have just position myself in here and this was secure. This was secure there. And I also have my wither, so I should there's no way I should escape. Yeah, that also was stupid. Other than that, man, that's that's very good. But what I'm saying is, like bottom line, everything is playing game. So if I'm if I'm playing like imagine you're this Ezreal, and I mean Ezreal played Well he didn't play super good, but I mean he's okay, right? Oh he's actually second best player. Yeah, he played really well. Imagine you are this Ezra, right? And your team just goes and ints. You can be like 50 kills Ezra. If your team does this, it's not. Right? Because they just ints. So there you are walking around. 30 kills Ezra. Everybody should be playing. Honestly, everybody should be playing around Katarina. If you're but this guy just goes and he dies. You're poor Ezra thinking to yourself, holy shit, holy shit. How am I going to win the game? What the hell is going on? Team, please play around Chakarina. Or you're like 30 kills, please play around me. Oh my god. This guy also ints, right? For no reason. Right. 
So you're this Ezreal and you're trying to get yourself into position and now like everybody's dead. <laughs> Three of your teammates just died already. And the worst of all, Baron is in 12 seconds, right? That's it. Game over, dude. You see? And they are ahead like... And Katarina also is. I mean, what is she trying to do? She's trying to one-shot Lee Sin. He's a tank right now, right? I think he's kind of like a tank. What's his MR? 89. Well, honestly, she should have just ulted, I think. He would have died. But you know what I'm saying? Like, like, how do you even play ADC on such a level? Because you need to heal, right? Imagine if you were like ATC and instead of looks we have Z, right? Unless you have your support with you who is going to crowd control Z, like you cannot do anything. The only thing you can do is to type to his team uh, some chat restricting things, right? Because his team literally, literally Man, this poor guy, right? And I mean, he didn't even play bad. I mean, you can say, oh, our is shit, our is bad. Right? You can just go on intro. So I'm saying the League of Thrones. So whoever has people with the brain that's just like, oh my god, it's late game. I have a massive, massive urge to go and to int. Then um, you. So if you're on the opposing team, like I was in this game, and the enemy team is just has this urge to int late game, you're gonna win the game. This happens to me all the time. Now, if you're on the opposite team, if you're like the Ezreal, right, and you're playing on the team that has the urge to int late game, then you're simply going to lose the game, and that's it, right? And it's it's no fault of your own. I mean, the good news is that I found, um, like, this challenger coach. He coaches a lot of challenger players. And, I mean, it, it was refreshing for me to see that he actually lost some games in silver. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's challenger player, but he lost in silver, which is good. Because that tells you that, you know, sometimes the urge to int is so great that even the challenger player cannot carry a person who just, like, his urges to, for inting is just too great. Alright? So, take care. Bye-bye.